starting off with uh, crossing some more stuff off the list. Got in the shop and right away started working on this stuff. It's kind of cold today, but that's all right. It's a good work environment. Good, cool temperatures. A little cold right now. I'm sure it'll warm up. Anyways, getting into it. Check it out. So I just welded up these. Tacked them on kind of deal. I've got a bunch of things to weld onto this and put on and build still. And I'm running real low on welding wire. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of like sort of uh, enthusiastically tack welding. So the deal with the welding wire is that uh, today, currently, right now, it's Saturday morning, and the welding shop that I always go to and the guys have been helping me out for this entire build, they're closed on the weekend, and they didn't have anything in stock. They only restocked their welding wire last night, and I didn't have time to go down and get there. So I've got one roll left that's gotta last till Monday. Last night, I did that battery box. And now I just did the trailing arm mounts, trailing arm spacers. I'm going to cross that off now because I'm not going to do that until final assembly. We'll rewrite another list for that. Uh, so now we got to look into the diff support, center diff support. So it's not really a center diff, so to speak, but it's the diff that is in the center of this bracket and this bracket, which I called the sub support. So. I just want to go through and make sure it's strong enough. I mean, I still got to go through and do final welding and stuff, but I'm almost confident I can drop a few plates on there to make it a bit stiffer. And might as well do that with the whole differential and everything in there. That way, these pieces won't move. So I'm going to crawl my ass in there somehow <laughs> and uh, try to clean it up and try to make like a little... I'm thinking about a piece of metal that comes down from maybe here into there on an angle, and then, uh, well, that's probably strong up there. Probably don't need to do that, but it might be an idea to have something coming down the sides here to sort of brace it, maybe square it off. Maybe. Let's think about it. The next thing on that list is the subframe support, which would be, be blah, 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 this piece. Now, I don't know, but it looks pretty beefy to me, right? Like, yeah, it's already pretty solid. It's got to be welded up final steps. So reinforced body panels and rear bash bar. Uh, this is, again, that's all, nothing to do with that. Okay, so these two pieces, these, I might flip them. Because I'm gonna use the brackets I make for the rear bash bar, rear bumper and all that kind of stuff to reinforce the body panels. I'm gonna make some brackets that hold on a little bit better coming off the back here. That's where I'm gonna put my bash bar. Not too far because I don't want it to overhang too, too much. I mean, it's still inside a good foot of the body panels. But put the bash bar off there, build some brackets that go up to hold up these fenders. What do you think? It's gonna work? Is it gonna work? Sweet. All right, so it's time to figure out the bash bars. So I'm gonna redo the same process that I did with the other one, with the front end, the same bracket way. I'm gonna use a bunch of old uh, roll cage tubing. I'm gonna make my bash bar out of the same size as the roll cage. It's one inch and three quarter. So I'm gonna bend it up a little bit and do some fancy stuff to it. I'm just gonna get into work on it. But first things first, I gotta make the brackets to mount it. So we're gonna get that big berth of pipe there. I'll load this back up onto the workbench and uh, this is what I use to cut out the brackets for the front the front bumper I have the exact material on the opposite side just gonna clean it up and redo the same process let's get in it
we have a bash bar. Check it out. All in all, it worked out really well. I'm thinking about putting a jacking point on the bottom of it. I might save that for later, seeing how it goes. And I really need to get it sitting on the ground too, so that I don't make it too big or have the wrong kind of clearance. But check it out, dudes. Bash bar is done. It is marked off the list. Now on the list, I had something about lights too. You can barely see it behind there. Ooh. But no go for now. That again will be final assembly deal. And lights, I don't, got lights in the back of the fenders. Might use those. Or I have some like trailer style brakes, but that could just be incorporated into the bash bar after. The beauty of the bash bar is that it comes off. So I could work on it independently later on away from the rest of the vehicle and not have to worry about a thing. So that's where we're at. It's starting to look pretty cool. I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about this. What about you? What do you think? Is it cool? Right on.